Hello friends, welcome back. In the previous video, we have discussed about the uh, triaxial test. In the present lecture, we will discuss about the what are the types of triaxial test or what are the types of test we can conduct. So these types of tests we are going to conduct is truly based depending upon the drainage conditions. Depending upon drainage conditions. First, I will explain you what are the possible tests. After that, we will discuss where we have to use those types of tests. And first one is called the unconsolidated undrained test that is complete or it is a uu test as we already know first stage we will call it as a consolidation stage so this i will call it as a unconsolidated in the first stage drainage is not allowed and also undrained in the shear stage also drainage is not allowed next one is nothing but a consolidated undrained test Consolidated undrained. So C represents the consolidated. Consolidated undrained test. And third one is nothing but a consolidated drained test. C D test. That is nothing but a C represents the consolidated. D represents the drained test. And there is one more possibility that UD is not useful. That's why it is not useful. We'll discuss it later on. So, first stage, what is the first stage? We will call it as a consolidation stage. What about in the second stage? That is nothing but a shearing stage. So, the first term, it will represent the first stage. And second time is the second stage. Unconsolidated. What is meant by unconsolidated? That means drainage is not allowed. That means water will not escape through the soil. What is meant by undrained? The name itself implies again the water is not allowed. So here, in this case, even in the first stage and in second stage, drainage wall. That means I can simply write it as a drain wall. What will happen? it will always kept closed that means even in first stage or in second stage if it is a uu test the valve will get closed that means as the consolidation that means you are not allowing the water that's why the test can happen very fastly that's why this will also call it as a quick test and let us talk about the last one consolidated drain even in consolidation Expulsion of pore water pressure will be there. If it is drying, that means again escalation of water will be there. That means in this case, in contrary to the first one, what will happen? Drain wall open or close, it will always kept open. As drain valve is always kept open, that will take a long time or very less time. So this will take very slowest test, we can call it. Then what I put in second one, CU, that means drainage or consolidated, that means in the first stage, the drainage valve will be in the open condition, undrained, that means you are not allowing, that means in the second stage, you will keep your drainage valve in the closed position. So by seeing this term, we can simply determine the position of the drainage valve. So for which type? we have to use the which type of experiment. Suppose if I want to talk about the short term stability of clay. Short term stability. What is meant short term stability? That means very less time. That means where we can use. This is useful immediately after loading. So, and also let us talk about the long term stability. 
So when we have to use long term stability, after applying the load, if you are measuring the stability of the clay, then that is what comes under the long term stability. And what about the sudden drawdown condition? Wherever the water levels are suddenly drop, then to check the stability, we will use the sudden drawdown condition. Depending upon the type of the test, see here. Wherever you want immediately quick test, then here we have to go for the UU test. If you want the long term stability, then you have to go for the consolidated drying test. So depending upon the type of the, depending upon the requirement, we have to select the uh, suitable test such that that can give the suitable results. And one thing we have to remember is that even though the soil is same, otherwise I can see that if you are having the same soil, that means if I am talking about the clay soil, then C and phi value changes with test. Changes with types of test. So this is what very, very important point. Suppose even if I am talking about the particular type of soil, that is, if I talk about the gravel soil, then if I conduct a CU test, CU test and CD test, I will get my shear strength parameters differently. So depending upon the type of the test, our parameters will change. So some of the parameters we have to remember. That means how the soil will behave. Depending on the type of the soil, we have to understand. Because if we don't remember that, then we cannot able to solve the gate example questions. So types of the test, and types of the properties of the soils are very, very important to be by hearted. Okay, let us discuss them one by one. Let us discuss for the UU test. That means unconsolidated, undrained test. So these parameters we have to by heart it. So if you are talking about the UU test, then here you can represent your parameters for in the form of total parameters or in the form of the effective parameters. Total parameters and also you can represent in the form of effective parameters. So UU test is nothing but a very quick test. Suppose if you are taking the saturated clay then uh, if you are conducting experiment with respect to the total parameters and with respect to the effective parameters in the total parameters it is observed that your cu value will be the it will be around in the form of varies for the normally consolidated clay and also overly consolidated clay and it is observed that your phi u value will be is equal to zero. So this is what very important parameter. But if you are writing in terms of effective parameters, then you will have both c dash and also you will have the phi dash also. But for the total parameters, your uh, angle of internal friction will be is equal to zero. This is what about the UU test. Suppose if you are talking about the consolidated undrained test. So what is mean by this? In the first stage, the drainage is allowed. But in the second stage, the drainage is not allowed. Suppose, let us talk about the sudden drawdown condition. What do you mean by sudden drawdown condition? Suppose if you are talking about the earth dam. So, suppose until, until certain time, water level will be there up to certain limit. Let us say H. So, because of this level, uh, the water will seep through the soils. That means the drainage is allowed here. So that's why we can say that a consolidation can happen. If suddenly the water level is reduced to zero, will there be any draining condition? No. So that's why it is called the sudden drawdown condition. If there is a sudden drawdown condition, then we will use the consolidated undrained test. So here, if you are conducting an experiment on normally consolidated clay normally consolidated clay and also over consolidated clay then in the normally consolidated clay 
under untrained condition it is observed that your cu value will be equal to 0 and for the over consolidated claim you will have the cu and also you will have the phi u okay you have to remember this c value is equal to 0 if your experiment is conducted on normally consolidated clays now let us talk about this cd test as we have discussed that it is a very slow test and it is obtained that for normally consolidated clay the results are, are similar to the sandy soils so for sandy soils what we can observe we can observe that your ce is equal to 0 and your phi u value is lying in between 20 to 30 degrees for the overly consolidated clays then the soil will behave like a silty soil what is meant by silty it is having both cu values and also it is having the phi u values so only in these types of tests we have to understand if it is a u test for total parameters phi u will be equal to 0 if it is a CU test for normally consolidated clay, phi U will CU will be equal to 0. And for CD test for so normally consolidated clay, CU will be equal to 0. And you have to remember that for the over consolidated clays, you will have both cohesion and the uh, internal friction. That means the soil will behave like a silty sand. This is what about the different types of tests that we can conduct on the uh, triaxial test. In the next video, we will discuss about the unconfined uncompression, unconfined compression test. Thank you.